All right, so now that you've learned how to graph inequalities, in this lesson you will solve and graph systems of linear inequalities. So in this example, we have three inequalities that you have to graph and shade to figure out what the solution would be. So each inequality will be color-coded where the first inequality is red, second is blue, and the third would be green. So the first inequality, y is greater than 1, we need a dotted line because we are dealing with a greater than sign and we're gonna have a horizontal line on one so since we're greater than we have to shade everything above that line to represent the solution of that inequality alright the second inequality we have x is less than or equal to four which means that we need a vertical line on 4 and it also has to be solid because we are including the value of 4 for x. So then everything less than that would everything be shaded oh, I'm sorry, would we shade we would shade everything to the left of that line. All right, perfect. So everything in that region would represent that solution for that inequality. So the third inequality, we have 3x is less than 6x minus 6. And remember, we need to have this inequality in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to divide each side by 3. And then simplify, I should have y is less than 2x minus 2, where my slope is 2 and my y-intercept is negative 2. So I will start my graph at negative 2, and then make a dotted line going up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, so on and so forth. And that's what that would look like. So again, so since my line is less than that, uh, that inequality that I just drew, I'm going to pretend I have a dotted, or I'm sorry, a stick man that I usually, usually draw in class. And everything that represents... Uh, the region below him, which is less than, would be the ground, so I'm going to shade everything underneath that man. So if you're shading properly, and mine's kind of hard to see, but your solution of your, inequal of your system of inequalities would be the region in which all three colors meet. So it's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to highlight this in purple. This little triangular region would be the solution of my system. So as long as y is greater than 1, x is less than or equal to 4, and y is less than 2x minus 2 would be your solution. So you want to really identify that common region where all three colors meet. So when you do this on your own, make sure that you shade properly and you can distinguish which region you're shading for which line. So really try this number one on your own, and number two is, in a, is basically the same thing as example one. So I'm going to have these people cheer you on, while you try this on your own. So pause the video and then check back in after you're finished. Alright, so you should have y is less than negative x plus 5 and y is less than x plus 3 with this region shaded as your solution. Alright guys, thanks for watching and thanks for your support. So make sure you have any questions, especially for this lesson where it can be a little bit confusing with all the different regions shaded.